These days, a lot of my patients have been asking me the same question about Paxlovid. Why am I not eligible? They just tested positive for COVID and they have symptoms, but they're fully vaccinated. And the answer to whether a patient is eligible for Paxlovid when they're fully vaccinated is usually no, they're not. Fully vaccinated people are not eligible for Paxlovid, at least not right now in the province of Alberta, Canada, and in many other places around the world. And the only exceptions to the fully vaccinated are if they're immunocompromised or if they're living in long-term care centers. So why are they not eligible? This is not some administrative rule trying to ration the drug. This is actually based on the science. You see, the original study published on the effectiveness of Paxlovid studied two types of people, people who have COVID antibodies already in their blood and people who don't. Now, people who already have COVID antibodies are primarily those people who have already been vaccinated. You can see from this table that there's relatively similar numbers of people who have COVID antibodies and who don't have antibodies in both the treatment and control groups of the study. Now jumping to the subgroup analysis of the results, you can see here that in people who do not already have COVID antibodies, Paxlovid caused a large and statistically significant drop in hospitalizations or deaths. But in people who already have antibodies against COVID, Paxlovid didn't really make much of a difference in reducing hospitalizations or deaths. If it caused any difference from placebo, it's a difference that's almost not statistically significant. So, this is actually meant to be reassuring. If you're not in a long-term care center, and you're not immunocompromised, and you're infected by COVID as a fully vaccinated person, you're likely quite well protected already from hospitalizations or death, even if you don't take Paxlovid. And even if you do take Paxlovid, it likely won't make much of a difference for you. So as a fully vaccinated person, not immunocompromised, not in a long-term care center. If you do happen to get COVID, you don't need to worry about getting your hands on some Paxlovid within that five-day window. Now, I hope that's answered that most common question that I've been asked these days. If not, let me know in the comments below. Of course, this is all just for educational purposes and not medical advice. If you have any questions about your own personal eligibility for Paxlovid or whether you might benefit from it, you should talk with your family doctor. Take care, everybody, and stay safe.